on today's episode of What Did I Find in the Scrap Pile Now? We get cooking. Now this fine specimen of iron oxidation was once considered a griddle. And being that it's old and funky and rusty, well, it's something I'd want to cook with. Now, thus far, some of my best cast iron cookware has come out of the trash. I was dumpster diving one time, and I found this immaculate, smooth as glass, 8-inch uh, cast iron skillet. It was even pre-seasoned. I don't know who the heck would have thrown that out, but score for me. So when we got this, instead of tossing it onto Rotor Mountain in the scrap yard, we're going to try to put this back into service. Now I don't see any real cracks or anything, and that would kind of suck if there was. Uh, the underside is not too bad. Ooh, made up in Erie. I think that's Griswold. You serious, Clark? Time to get buffing. I'm sure this is the proper method. Now I definitely need to replace that wire cup, but I just can't bring myself to put a new one on until every little last nub of that thing is worn out. Well, all right, time for some flaxseed oil and a good seasoning. Whew. And just like that, she's all back cured with flaxseed oil and ready for service. Grilled up a couple of mean grilled cheeses so far and some burgers and stuff. And tell you what, can't believe this thing was going to be going to the big metal scrapyard in the sky, but sure glad it's getting put back into service. Something like an old cast iron skillet is not something necessarily very valuable or extremely rare. However, it is one of those things that can last for generations and it would be a shame to, you know, take something out of service that it could go for decades more. So even though it may not have much monetary value, it's got a little bit of historical value just because the longevity on something like this is not quite unlimited, but way more than your average uh, part or utility and plus, you just can't smack somebody with an aluminum pan like you can a cast iron. <laughs> 